Now, a tragedy strikes the LA County Sheriff's Department. Four employees died this week, just hours apart. The Sheriff's Homicide Bureau is investigating all four deaths as suicides. As KCAL's Jasmine Beal tells us, the news sent shockwaves throughout the entire department. We're hurting. All of us are hurting. Richard Pippen, the president of the Association for LA Deputy Sheriffs, wiped away tears Wednesday as he talked about the four sheriff employees who died by suicide this week. I spent a big chunk of yesterday with a family member of one of the people we lost. It's, yeah, it's difficult. I've never seen anything like this in 34 years in one day. His association represents nearly 8,000 deputy sheriffs. He got the news Monday that three LASD employees had died, followed by another death on Tuesday. One retired deputy, um, one custody assistant, which is uh, like a jailer, and uh, a commander, and then a deputy sheriff who worked one of our jails. The Sheriff's Homicide Bureau is investigating all four deaths separately. Pippen says deputies are under a lot of stress from staffing shortages to dealing with trauma on the job. Things are tougher than they've ever been. The long hours, the, the, the violence and the sadness, you, you, you see people at their worst and during the most difficult times. LA County Sheriff Robert Luna released a statement saying in part, we are stunned to learn of these deaths and it has sent shockwaves of emotions throughout the department as we try and cope with the loss of not just one, but four beloved active and retired members of our department family. The LA County Sheriff's Department confirmed eight suicides this year among the 18,000 employees. You've gotten uh, calls. Yeah, yeah, of course. Studies show police officers are more likely to die from suicide than in the line of duty. Sherry Senwelski with the DD Hirsch Mental Health Services explains one risk factor. Law enforcement, they're supposed to protect the community. They're supposed to be able to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Sometimes that makes it even harder um, for that particular community to say, I need a break, I need some help. The American College of Emergency Physicians found that law enforcement officers have a 54% increase in suicide risk compared to civilians. The sheriff also said that his department is urgently exploring avenues to reduce work stress factors to support employees' work and personal lives. Here in Monterey Park, Jasmine VLK Cal News. If you or someone you care about is having a mental health issue, please call or text 988 for the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline.